we are mass poisoning this generation of kids. We saw this explosion of neurodevelopmental disorders. So ADD, ADHD, speech delay, language delay, tics, sleep disorders, Tourette syndrome, uh, narcolepsy, ASD, autism, all these diseases that prior to 1989, we never heard of them. Right. We didn't know anybody who had them. And then all the autoimmune diseases suddenly exploded that year. The juvenile diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, these exotic diseases like Crohn's disease and lupus. Suddenly everybody, all these kids got these, are sick. And the allergic diseases suddenly appeared. Again in 1989, in that area, early 90s, peanut allergies. I had 11 siblings, 70 cousins. I didn't know anybody with a food allergy. Why do five of my kids have, you know, have these anaphylactic allergies? Why are there EpiPens in every classroom? Why are there albuterol inhalers? Or, you know, asthma exploded. I had a brother who had asthma, and his doctor told him there will never be a cure for this disease because it's so rare that no researcher will ever study it. Well, now one out of every eight black kids has asthma. So what happened? Something happened. There's no other country that has this. We have the highest chronic disease burden in the world. Why are we so sick? And why is nobody looking at that and saying, we know that it's an environmental toxin. Genes don't cause epidemics.